Welcome. And if your curiosity has been raised, as mine has, regarding what's going on with the uh, former South High School, I have two guests that's going to spend some time with me. And in depth, we're going to talk about the second part of the projects there, because the first one is with uh, the Dr. Imbler's group who has the building. Yes. We're going to talk about the uh, field and the field house. Mm -hmm. And that's Gary Frost, Reverend Gary Frost. And the title for uh, this, he's the president of Valley Christian School, is Mike Pechia. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Tell me, I'm excited. Well, thank started. you for having us, first of all. We really appreciate the opportunity. Um, yes, yeah, so we are uh, looking at developing Southfield, Southfield House. We have been practicing, our football team has been practicing down there for about six years. So it's been our field. And um, we hired a new coach a few years ago, and the coach had the vision of we need to fix this up. We need to make this a better place for our football team and our track team. We don't have a track. We have a three-time uh, three repeat 4x100 state championship track mm -hmm. uh, relay team. And they run on sidewalks. So we felt our wow. kids needed something. They, they, they needed something better. Our kids do a lot with a little. And we just have the vision that we, it's time to fix that up and give, give them more a... More positive behavior. A, absolutely. And put in a, so our vision is to put in a turf field, eight lane track, and a football stadium. Because we don't have our own football stadium. We're kind of nomadic. We play different places. Okay, when you say we, 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 who is the we that's uh, supporting and helping with the funding? So Valley Christian School is leading this effort in terms of uh, the actual development of the program. And we're going to be leading the fundraising. So we are not it. We're getting ready to start and work on developing our ca capital campaign, which we hope to bring out in the fall. Our plan is to bring out a capital campaign in the fall um, to start raising the money. Be in touch. We're going to take up on that. We will. Well, we'll, we'll call you for sure. Reverend Frost, you're a busy man. <laughs> um, let's talk about your involvement from the board perspective. <laughs> Well, um, I've been privileged to be a part of the Valley Christian Board for about three years now, and uh, but I've been uh, a part of Valley Christian for some time. My, we won't my, hold it against you because you're not a South High alumni. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully someone <laughs> will make me an honorary one. You got um, it. But uh, I, um, my, my son graduated from Valley Christian, two of my grandchildren. My granddaughter is graduated from Valley Christian, and I have a grandson and a granddaughter that currently are students there, and it's just just a, a wonderful place. Kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah, we we love Valley Christian School. We've talked about a little bit of what's happening, and the next segment, if you stay with us, we're going to take this conversation in depth and really take a look at the future plans for that area. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.